Hello, my name is Mark Silverman. I co-produced and videotaped much of the program you are about to see. It's a film about the Missouri Wildlife Rescue Center in Baldwin, Missouri. Now in its 25th year of operation, it is one of the first and best known animal rehabilitation centers of its kind in the country. Their official mission statement reads, the Missouri Wildlife Rescue Center is dedicated to the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of injured, ill, or orphaned native Missouri wildlife. These animals are injured or killed in many ways. Sometimes it's human cruelty, but most of the time it's the result of accidents caused by what is generally known as loss of habitat. Essentially, when suburbia spreads into areas that used to be home only to wildlife, the consequences can be severe. Big old eyes. She um, lost quite a bit of blood in the cage. They brought her at 6.20 this morning, and I didn't get in until 10, so she yeah, said, yeah, sure. Okay, in through Mark. If we didn't have places like the Wildlife Rescue Center, uh, I don't know what I'd do. Um, it'd be really sad to have to put a lot of these animals down, and that's what would take place. Most of them would be put down. Because um, you can't release an injured animal into the wild. I refuse to leave, release an injured animal into the wild and have it suffer. So most of them would be put down, so these places are a godsend for us in the field. And, uh, of course, it always makes you feel good if you can help an animal. And even the ones that are suffering, if you help them to that end, still, it, even though it's sad, it makes you feel better than just letting them suffer. So yeah, it's an invaluable place. The backbone of the Missouri Wildlife Rescue Center is its core of volunteers. And there are about 85 of them who generously give of themselves so that the helpless creatures that come in can have a chance to survive. These volunteers are supervised by four paid staff who are themselves very special people. But the real guiding light remains its founder, Susie Sutton. Uh, I started, that first squirrel was in 1972. That was 25 years ago. Uh, I, I'm celebrating my 25th year doing this. <laughs> Older and tired, <laughs> but I'm celebrating. Uh, the center is very famous for uh, some very unusual medical treatment. In fact, we've developed a lot of the standard protocol uh, that is in current use today at rehab centers all over the country. There were six of us who began rehabbing in 1972. All of us are still at work in the field, um, but uh, over the years, the center uh, has always been a, a primary force in the field of rehabilitation. Um, our size, uh, we expect it to ultimately mushroom up to about 10,000 animals, and then we hope it'll level off at that point. Uh, certainly, there have been some very, very hard times for the center, times when um, Financially, we weren't sure we could make it much longer. Uh, but always we have been fortunate to have lots of good press coverage. And it's that press coverage that has accounted for pulling us you know, up from the depths many, many, many times. And that's how I discovered the place. Over the years, newspaper articles and TV news stories about foxes and coyotes, exotic birds and bobcats fascinated me. And I always wanted to do a program about it. And so, in January 1997, I got the chance. My plan was to film for about six months, showing the many processes that take place. The rescue, intake, and documentation processes, the healing and rehabilitation processes, the growth process, the cleaning the cages process, the feeding process. Well, I'm sure you get the idea. I went to the center for that purpose once a week, sometimes more, until July. And what I recorded, I'm sure, will demonstrate two things very clearly just how necessary the service is and how special the people who run it are. Oh, sunshine fixes a lot of things. Yeah, there's three. When I began filming in January, there really wasn't much happening. It was a slow period and there weren't many patients around. But I was assured that things would definitely pick up in the spring. I could tell one thing as soon as I started, though. Being an animal lover, this was going to be an emotional roller coaster ride for me. And as it turned out, it was. Again, the center's founder, Susie Sutton. We start with an orientation program, and we spare them no punches in the orientation. Uh, we tell them that much of what they are going to see will be radically awful. 
uh, for the simple reason that these are wild animals and they could never have been caught or brought to the center unless they were near death. small one off and she'll be ready to go and I'll take this one too or? okay ready mm -hmm. okay take it off right now You guys found him? Yeah, I found him. Whereabouts? In that bin down there. It's okay. Down this way? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, shot's going to be on the news. <laughs> took him into the vet yesterday just because he, I mean, he acted all right and everything and I didn't find, you know, any wounds or anything and his back was all in, but I just took him as a precaution. I didn't want to turn him loose if, you know, something was cracked or something. He, I mean, that was a long drop for him, so. Well, we appreciate it much. Yeah. I'm sure he appreciates it yeah. more. He's yeah. <laughs> okay, but now. <laughs> 